fine too i thank god welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for returning back here to watch my videos god bless you i don't take you for granted but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you will enjoy every content that i upload so dear friends have you ever been on online dating apps start chatting with guys and you get a lot of rejections or men play you a lot to an extent you start doubting in yourself maybe i'm not beautiful enough maybe i'm very short or i am very fat you start even hating yourself if you have ever felt like that then today's video is perfect for you or another question have you ever been on online dating apps you start chatting with a guy everything goes super good and you feel like he is the one but when you start chatting in your relationship because of the long distance relationship you start giving up you start losing that positive energy in you and you're like i want to give up <laughs> I can't go on like this. Maybe I should go to the dating apps and start chatting with someone else so that things can move very fast because the relationship that I'm in right now doesn't move very fast. There is a lot of challenges. Have you ever felt like that? If yes, please stick here because today's video is eh? You already know guys. Story time! <laughs> Today's video is going to be a story time guys of a Tanzanian lady who found love on online dating apps. Today's story will teach you a lot. If you are a woman searching for love on online dating apps, it can be even in real life because the things that I am going to be talking in this video or in this story are the things that can even happen in real life, not only on the dating app so if you are a lady you are looking for the right man for marriage watch this video till the end but not only that guys if you are on online dating apps searching for love and you are new to the dating apps you are new to the dating sites world this video is perfect for you because it will give you experience why am I saying that the Tanzanian lady who shared this story with me, she also shared her experience when she first joined online dating apps when she didn't have any experience. So we will enjoy that. Without wasting much of your time, guys, let us start this story right now. <laughs> Hydrate. <laughs> some fresh air <laughs> it's too hot guys very hot <laughs> let me cool and we start our story <laughs> so dear friends our today's story will be about a tanzanian lady like i said by the name of juliet 28 years of age by now but when she joined online dating apps she was 25 yes so i'm going to start before juliet joined online dating apps juliet is not a single mother so today's story is not about a single mother i've been giving you lots of stories of single mothers who have found love on online dating apps but today's story a young lady who is not a single mother so juliet tells me that before joining online dating apps she dated some guys, African guys, but it did not go well. And at that moment, she was single, not dating anyone. And one day, there is this university friend of hers who came to the hostel with a white guy. This white guy was a boyfriend to a friend. She was really inspired. She got that, you know, feeling of having a white guy as a boyfriend who will marry her later so seeing that friend with a white boyfriend it really inspired her and pushed her to start looking for the ways 
to find a white man to be her boyfriend and later on become their husband guys as you all know i've been saying this we should let people love whom they want to love so we shouldn't judge this lady just because she wanted to date a white guy no we shouldn't guys we are in the era whereby everyone is supposed to love whom they want to love we shouldn't be like why want to date a white guy or why want to date a black guy no <laughs> and you know guys i've been telling you also that i'm not going to tell you whom to date if you come to me you want to date a black guy it's okay you come to me you want to date a white guy it's okay it doesn't mean that me doing videos about interracial marriages or online dating looking for a white man I am pushing women or black women to date only white men no guys what I am doing is to give you information which will help you find the right man that man can be black that man can be white the color doesn't matter it is all up to you your choices guys <laughs> not my choices so this lady was really interested in dating a white guy that is when she talked to this friend and the friend told her i found the guy on online dating apps but what kind of an app that friend of juliet found the one i'm going to be sharing with you that at the end of this video because it's the same app where Juliet found the one so you should watch this video till the end because last time I did a story time and I saw some comments people asking me which kind of a dating app whereby I have mentioned it in the video so you should be able to watch this video to the end to get to know which kind of a dating app these people met i'm not here to tell you the dating app only i am here to help you out i am here to give you experience of these ladies so that in your search if you come across those challenges if you come across such experiences you know how to deal with them and also inspire you who is on online dating app searching know that it is is possible that is why I am here guys not only to tell you go to Afro introduction or go to F dating <laughs> no I'm telling you the whole story so that you learn something guys you get that experience because experience is the best teacher <laughs> so after getting that app Juliet decided to join that app and started getting a lot of messages from guys you all know guys when you join for the first time that day will be good super good men writing to you <laughs> if you compare it when you stay for a month messages starts to decrease so when she joined she got lots of messages she was very excited and started chatting but as time went on things did not go well guys she started encountering players, men who used to send their eggplants without even knowing how well. After exchanging phone numbers, some could ask for nude photos. She really encountered a lot on her first days on that dating app, but she did not give up. She kept on searching. And guys, before I go far, Juliet joined that dating app September 2019 she kept on chatting with and serious men i call them losers <laughs> till January 2020 when she got a message from a guy who seemed serious this guy's message was very very beautiful and he was an american guy <laughs> from chicago so juliet was very very happy excited started chatting with this guy and she tells me that or she tells us that this guy's messages melted her heart no man had sent such messages to her in her life so it was a very happy moment for her she was so excited guys over the moon and what's more good this guy started talking of marrying her he told her that i want to come to tanzania meet your parents and get married to you so juliet told god that 
Thank you, God, I've found the one. I don't know what to say, but I am so grateful to you, God, that you brought the right man to me. So they kept on chatting with this American guy. Everything went very well. And at that time, guys, they were not chatting on that dating app anymore. They were chatting on WhatsApp. So everything was super good, guys. They could talk on a video call. They could talk every day and every time this guy could send messages. They were sweet. They were very beautiful messages. Words that Juliet wanted to hear from the man. So Juliet kept on thanking God that I have found the one. Thank you, God. So they chatted for three months, guys, and this American guy was ready to go to Tanzania, meet Juliet in person for that first time. Time to travel for this American guy to Tanzania came and the guy went, guys. He went when they met with Juliet. Juliet was very happy. She told God, this is the dream come true. Thank you for making my dream come true. Seeing this man, cause the man was so sweet. The man was so kind. He was so caring. He was everything that Juliet wanted. So they were happy to see each other and they went together to where that guy had booked for his hotel. So guys, comes the first night <laughs> together cause Juliet never had any experience about the dating apps, about the dating world, how it goes, guess what? She gave her goodies <laughs> to this American guy. She gave her goodies, guys, thinking that this guy is the one, thinking that this guy is gonna marry her. Remember, he promised her that I'm going to meet your parents and get married to you. So that is why Juliet accepted to give her precious goodies. <laughs> so guys, their first night together as a couple, when Juliet gave the goodies, <laughs> when they enjoyed the goodies together, it was on 1st April. <laughs> oh, what a nice day, guys. Foolish day. <laughs> so they stayed together from 1st April till 4th April. When this guy told Juliet that I am going to the supermarket to buy some things, but I don't want to go with you. You just stay here at the hotel, relax, and I'll join you later when I return. Juliet was like, okay, there is no problem. Everything was good. The guy was enjoying the goodies, you know, all those days without any problem, without saying that maybe I don't like you or anything guys everything was super super good treating her well with a lot of kindness and respect that juliet never suspected anything so the guy went to the supermarket and after one hour juliet got a message from the guy telling her that i don't want you anymore let's break up it did not work out <laughs> Guys, I am laughing, but it's not like I'm laughing at Juliet. No, I am not. But I'm just laughing with this whole situation because Juliet never had any experience of the players and we will get to know where she went wrong. That is why I am here to tell you the story. <laughs> yeah. So when Juliet got that message from a guy telling her that let's break up, I don't want you anymore, and this guy sounded very rude. When Juliet tried to call him, he responded and in a rude way, he was like, I am serious, just leave that hotel. When I return, I don't want to find you there. It's over between us. Got shocked. She was like, oh my God, what is happening? What went wrong? Where did I go wrong? But the guy kept on insisting that I don't want to find you there. Just leave, it's over between us. So what Juliet did, took her bags and left. She told me I left crying cause I was in love with a guy very, very much. And I believed everything that this guy told me. I believed he was my husband to be. That is why I gave him the goodies. <laughs> but as in talking to Juliet, cause when I talk to these ladies that share their stories, I also go into details to know how was their communication? 
when they were chatting before meeting so she told me that when they were still chatting sometimes this guy could ask for photos but he could tell Juliet that I want you to take photos on all angles <laughs> If you take this side, then turn this side, the left side, the right side, the back side, front side, all angles. <laughs> so when she told me that, I told her, that's the red flag. A serious guy will never tell you, I want to see your photos on all angles. Never. <laughs> so that was red flag number one. But red flag number two, she tells me that she could talk with a guy on camera but this guy could just be talking in the kitchen not anywhere else in the house not showing the house this is my room giving her like you know the house tour nothing and another red flag the third one she could tell him that when you come here after meeting i want you to invite me to america so that i can see where you live i've never been to america I would love to come and you know see your real life but this guy could ignore that talk he couldn't say yes or no he could ignore that talk and talk of something else i told you this last time when i was doing a video of how to chat with men i told you there's some guys you can be chatting you want to know something from him he ignores what you have asked and keeps on talking about himself about what he wants about how he is going to make you happy in bed so this guy could avoid that talking of him inviting Juliet to America that was a very very big red flag guys so guys after the breakup Juliet got depressed because she had put all her two legs into that relationship I hope you understand me <laughs> And this guy made her dream during the day. <laughs> but in the end, she woke up and she found out it was only a dream. Everything that the guy told her wasn't going to happen. So it was a very, very bad moment for Juliet. And after the breakup, because Juliet was very depressed, she decided to take a break from the dating app still November 2020 when she returned back started searching she also chatted with guys who were not serious who could send their eggplants when they exchange whatsapp number again same things that is why I've been telling you guys those are only the challenges they shouldn't make you give up so Juliet kept on searching Juliet kept on chatting with guys hoping to find the one and December 2020 one month after joining again that dating app she started chatting with a guy from Switzerland and that is the time I came to know Juliet guys so guys I came to know Juliet there is this Tanzanian lady she is a youtuber too we know each other but on YouTube streets <laughs> was going live on Instagram to give advice to ladies who are interested in white guys she is married to a man from germany a white guy so she was giving advice to all ladies that wants to date white guys and tagged me on her life that is when i decided to join her life and see what's happening <laughs> so after joining that is where i met juliet and juliet was asking for advice because she was chatting with a guy from Switzerland. I remember her question was, do men from Switzerland spoil women? Are they rich? <laughs> do they have money? I jumped in and answered Juliet, telling her that Switzerland is a very expensive country. Salaries might be high, but life is very expensive so you might see a guy or a guy might tell you i'm paid this amount but due to the cost of living in switzerland it's a normal salary 
he's just a normal guy but because you are in tanzania you will think that maybe because of this amount that he has told me it is his salary he is a rich guy but no it does not work that way and what i'm advising you just see how the guy treats you that's so important how he talks about your relationship because that's very very important leave alone being spoiled if he is rich or not don't concentrate on that for now so juliet was very happy with the advice that i gave her and she told me i'm going to follow you on instagram so she came on my instagram the second day and started telling me the whole story that she is chatting with a guy on a dating app this guy is from switzerland they've been chatting for three days but this guy wants to go to tanzania he has the ticket already when she told me that i told juliet listen this guy might be one of those sex tourists so be careful don't give your goodies if you're going to meet this guy do not give your goodies i also asked juliet what do you talk about when you chat do you chat about your relationship or you are talking about his trip he told me we are only talking about his trip for now and he will be going to zanzibar he has invited me i told her if you're going to go be very careful don't give your goodies because a guy who has a ticket already he was online because he's looking maybe for company you know guys i've talked of this already that there are guys who stay on online dating apps because maybe it's their time to go on a holiday so they want some company and enjoy african goodies <laughs> yeah so i warned her and told her be very careful if this guy is not talking about the relationship mm, that's a red flag then she told me but bella he seems kind he seems sweet and he has paid for everything for that trip even to go to zanzibar he paid everything i told her yes of course who should pay for his trip it's okay for him to pay for that trip because it is his trip he is going on a holiday so it doesn't mean he is kind it doesn't mean he is very caring for him paying for the trip for you to go to zanzibar no be careful so we ended there and i did not chat with juliet for like a month after one month guys juliet returned and i asked her how did it go did you go to zanzibar how is your relationship with a guy from switzerland <laughs> so juliet told me bella it did not go well you were right because i went everything was okay he treated me good and we stayed for three days the fourth day the guy wanted the goodies he was waiting for me to give the goodies but when i refused the guy got really angry he was like i've paid for everything your trip to come here he paid for the boat <laughs> from dar es Salaam to zanzibar so i've paid for your trip to come here i've been buying you food you are sleeping here for free and then you don't want to give me the goodies who do you think you are <laughs> if you're not giving me the goodies today pack your bags and go i don't want to see you because i will return to the dating app and find another lady who will give me the goodies so juliet took her bags and left she told me that people were looking at her like what's happening because <laughs> the previous day everything was going good you know lovey dovey hugging and all that <laughs> after three days the guy is throwing her out of the hotel <laughs> it was even embarrassing guys <laughs> she left but she was so happy that she did not give her goodies she also tells me that she could see the messages entering into the phone of this swiss guy but she could not understand well the language because it was in their language <laughs> the only thing she could understand are the names of the ladies <laughs> swahili names like amina hajra <laughs> Chausiku, you know those kind of names in tanzanian names <laughs> so the guy was just a sex tourist wanted to enjoy the goodies <laughs>
<laughs> so you see guys the things that I've been talking about it's not that I just imagine they really happen so after talking to Juliet I told her don't worry that's normal to encounter such kind of people on a dating app the good thing I had warned you and you know you saved your goodies guys the problem is when you give your goodies to a guy thinking that the relationship will work and then it doesn't work you lose your power completely. So it's important to always protect your goodies at all costs <laughs> until you're sure. <laughs> then give your goodies. <laughs> so Juliet returned to the Islam and kept on searching because I could encourage her to keep on searching. And January 2021, she started chatting with another guy from Denmark. This guy was very respectful in his message and every questions that Juliet asked him, he could answer very, very well. He told Juliet that I'm not here to play games. I'm here to look for something serious because I've been hurt before. So I don't want to be hurt again. That is why I'm here to look for the right woman. So after chatting with that guy from Denmark, everything could continue very very well she could ask do you want more kids the guy could say yes do you want to get married in the future the guy could say yes the way the guy was answering it is everything that juliet was looking for in a man so they clicked they vibed there was chemistry guys they exchanged phone numbers left the site and started chatting on whatsapp Juliet could share with me everything guys that they used to chat with a guy so that I can help her out because you know guys I've got experience so the guy told Juliet that he is divorced and he has got one son who is a teenager so they kept on chatting and planned on how to meet but unfortunately guys at that time there was COVID COVID was you know at the peak so came the challenge of meeting till October when this guy was going on a vacation to South Africa but with his family. So he told Juliet that if it is okay with you, you can join me in South Africa. I'll be with my mother, my son, my brother and my cousin. So you can come so that they can also get to know you. Juliet told me and I was so happy for Juliet. I told her the guy is real because if this guy wants you to meet his family, I think this guy is serious because some guys who are unserious, they will want to hide your relationship. But this guy never wanted to hide the relationship, invited Juliet to South Africa. Juliet was so happy. She told me I've never been to South Africa. So it was an exciting moment for me. Juliet went, everything went well, but at the time she was there, she never talked to me, which is good. I told you guys, when you go meet your boyfriend for the first time, please cut all the communication, concentrate on your relationship, on getting to know each other. Note you are there busy chatting with your friends. Note you are there calling friends not concentrating on that relationship, getting to know the person, who he is. <laughs> she tells me that, or she tells us that, after arriving in South Africa, they really welcomed her very, very well. There was only one challenge, the son of the guy. <laughs> it's like he wasn't all that happy to see Juliet, and Juliet became a bit uncomfortable with the boy but i'll tell you why after the vacation <laughs> juliet asked the guy and the guy was like the way my son reacted or behaved it shouldn't bother you because he is a teenager and he was a bit jealousy that you are going to take all the love that i'm giving him so that was his worry but i talked to him everything is okay because it worried juliet so much but when she told me about it, I told her, don't worry, teenagers are like that, important, the father loves you. <laughs> so everything went very well about the vacation in South Africa, but Juliet had some expectations. <laughs> 
she thought that when she go to meet him he is going to propose but the proposal never happened guys <laughs> it was just a normal introduction this is juliet she's my friend you know like that <laughs> she was kind of disappointed about that i know you want to ask me bella did she give the goodies <laughs> She did not give the goodies, but she tells me we got, you know, very close, you know, kissing, hugging, touching each other. <laughs> no penetration. <laughs> yeah. So there was no goodies shared, but they really enjoyed each other. <laughs> <laughs> so the vacation ended they kept on chatting but Juliet could come all the time to complain to me that not only that the guy did not propose when they were in South Africa because <laughs> that is what she expected but still the guy is not telling her I love you Juliet is in love already telling the guy I love you even when they were kissing she could tell the guy that I love you but the guy could respond, I love you too. Not initiating, I love you, never. So she was like, Bella, I don't know. I don't understand this guy. Maybe he does not love me. We've been chatting for so long. How comes he is not saying, I love you? What is the problem? Maybe he does not love me. So she decided to ask the guy, what's going on? Why is that I'm telling you I love you? You only respond, me too, not telling me I love you. <laughs> so the guy was like, I love you is not just a simple word to tell someone, no. It is a very important word. Before I tell you I love you, I have to be sure that I really, really love you and I will love you forever. Yes. <laughs> so when Juliet told me about that, I told her it's okay cause men from that part, men from that country, they are like that. That is how they behave. They really take long. They really take their time. So you really need to be patient. So she told me, okay, but I still don't understand. And then happened that this guy has got his own business. The business wasn't going very well and told Juliet about it. I was like, mm, <laughs> I hope it's not a red flag. <laughs> Tell you that, oh, my business is not doing well. So I don't know if we we'll continue our relationship. Also, this guy talked something like in Denmark, there is racism so if he's going to marry her he's not going to live in denmark with her he is not all that sure about that i told juliet that's a red flag <laughs> if this guy is talking like that why maybe he is still married the stories he told you were lies maybe but i want us to test this guy you know guys i always want to get that conclusion you can't just leave the guy you found online you think he is the one i tell you leave him without finding a conclusion so i told juliet please let's test this guy tell the guy to invite you you have met already in south africa so this time it should be you visiting him in denmark so that you see the guy's life you see whatever the guy is telling you if it is true or not so julius was like okay i'm going to try to ask him but i am not sure i told her if the guy accepts and puts everything into action the guy is the one i can assure you this so juliet went talked to the guy <laughs> i want you to invite me because we have met in africa i think it's good if i come and visit you the guy was like no problem i'm going to invite you i'm going to send you all the documents don't worry about that i'll be happy to be with you here so that you can also see how my country can be called if you will manage that <laughs> so when Juliet told me the guy has accepted I told her okay accepting is not a problem let's see the action when is this guy inviting you she told me he's going to invite me in February 2022 so guys immediately they started the paperwork 
of the visa process she could tell me everything and i also advised her on the things to prepare so she prepared everything the guy sent his documents and also sent her 500 euros for the whole process of the visa the transport and everything when she told me about it i told her if this guy has given you the documents of the invitation plus the money for the visa the guy is serious he really wants to be with you so don't doubt him anymore that thing of not saying i love you it will come let him take his time because what matters guys are the actions i've been singing the actions of this guy so you too who is on online dating apps watch the actions because someone can tell you i love you you are the most beautiful girl in the world <laughs> you are one in a million but how about his actions so after all the documents were ready juliet went to the embassy and her interview day came she went for an interview but she did not get the visa guys the reason why she did not get the visa is because she was working yes but she did not have a contract so that was the downfall of her <laughs> And I told her, Juliet, you need to have the contract. She was like, I don't have a contract. I just thought that I should try my luck without a contract. Maybe I'll get the visa. But they told her, we can't give you the visa due to your work contract. It is complicated. So go work on your contract and then return back. We will give you the visa. So it was a very bad moment for Juliet and kelvin the boyfriend's name is kelvin so juliet talked to me about it i told her i am very very sorry but don't give up it doesn't mean when you don't get the visa for the first time when you apply for the second time you won't get no you will get the visa the only thing you're supposed to do is to make sure all the documents they want you have them so work on it and then apply again for the visa so kelvin was on her side told her don't worry we are going to look for a way on how you will be here we will try again and again until you get the visa which is very very good guys when you are going through the challenges if you have someone you love if the guy really loves you he is going to stick with you it's not that because you're not getting the visa cause of your work contract then the guy is going to leave you and say i cannot be with you because your contract is complicated i'm going to look for another lady who has got a contract it is all about love the guy is going to stick with you stick to juliet and they continued their relationship so guys because kelvin wanted to meet juliet for the second time so badly <laughs> he told juliet don't worry they have denied you the visa remember it was february so kelvin told her i'm going to come april in tanzania to meet you again to be with you while waiting till you find a job that will give you contract or where you work you talk to them they give you the contract and we start again the visa process so, so guys kelvin started planning his trip and april this year kelvin was in tanzania met juliet juliet tells me that or tells us that they went to zanzibar but it's not kelvin that suggested that they should go to zanzibar no it was juliet who suggested they should go to zanzibar because she wanted to enjoy her private moments with kelvin so they went to zanzibar stayed there for two weeks enjoyed some time together enjoyed the goodies too <laughs> yeah juliet gave her goodies this time because kelvin is a serious guy because during their trip to zanzibar kelvin proposed this gave juliet more power more assurance that he is the one and from that moment guys every day kelvin tells juliet that 
I love you very much every day guys it's not Juliet now that starts telling Kelvin I love you no it's Kelvin that repeats every day that I love you I want to be with you you are the woman of my life what do we learn from this please research about men from different countries how is it like dating them maybe you'll get something that will save your relationship if juliet did not meet me who had experience about guys from denmark i could tell her no this guy is not telling you i love you then he is a player but i told her you should be patient men from his country majority not all but majority take their time to know a lady take their time before they say i love you so get to know men from his country how things are done and most of all observe the man you are dating the way he is behaving i insist the actions are very very important if the guy is showing you good actions and not talking a lot it's a good thing it's a good sign of the right man so guys they are keeping on with their relationship everything is going very very well because june this year juliet got her contract at the place where she was working at the time she asked for the visa so they gave her the contract which means she will be able to get the visa only that she needs to work for some more months before she asks for the visa and she told me that she plans to go to denmark december this year where they will get married there and i promise you again guys i'm going to share her wedding in this channel so stick here and let's wish her all the best so friends i forgot to share with you this little story about juliet after the breakup with an american guy she started doubting in herself because she had a problem in her thighs in between her thighs she had scars which were caused by an allergy reaction so she told herself maybe this guy rejected me due to my scars so it gave her some kind of you know doubt in herself and insecurity i remember one day she wrote to me she told me that i'm planning to meet this boyfriend of mine from denmark but i'm scared i have got some scars maybe he might not like me when he sees those scars but i told her juliet don't worry if a guy loves you will not care about your scars will not care about how your body is so that is what happened guys after meeting the guy from denmark who is her boyfriend right now her fiance never cared at all about juliet's scars so you should also learn from this that no matter how you look no matter your disability if a guy really loves you he's going to accept you he won't make a big deal out of it so the disappointments shouldn't make you feel like maybe you are not good enough i've told you guys the problem is not you if men are rejecting you the problem is not you if men are playing you so dear beautiful friends i know you want to know which dating app did juliet meet kelvin she met him on tinder i know some of you are scared of tinder but you see guys you can find love on tinder it is just a matter of luck and the way you search so go on tinder try your luck guys <laughs> so guys i really hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something and above all i think is being patient observe the actions of the guy you are dating than the words because a guy can tell you beautiful words putting them into action is an issue only a serious guy can put his words into action so we learn that thank you so much for watching this video till now be blessed give this video a thumbs up if you've liked it 
share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video comment below what you think about this video i would like to know about this beautiful success love story of online dating <laughs> don't forget to watch my other videos too they are super good subscribe if you have not subscribed i love you so much you're always here in my heart let us meet in my next video ciao ciao